As you dove into this character, Mary Shelley, anything that really surprised you about her that you found? It did. I knew the name Mary Shelley. I knew she wrote Frankenstein. It, you know, from school you learn, you, know, you study the book and learn a little bit about her, but her life, um, I was not familiar with kind of everything that she had gone through um, and what, you know, drove her to then, uh, you know, write, write, this, write this story. Um, and you know, kind of the hidden meetings in in the book of how she she feels like she's actually the monster that she writes about, uh, which I found really interesting. Of course, it, this story has lived on for so long that mm -hmm. she wrote so long ago. Yeah. Why, why do you think that is? Why do you think we are here? You know, how many years later, and, and when still Frankenstein is, is where it's at in, in pop culture and yeah. society? I think it's also it's important that people know that it's not just a gothic novel you know it's it's I mean there's been there's so many Frankenstein movies and that you know yeah. it, that have happened but there hasn't been a film about this woman's life which is so important especially now I mean this movie is definitely a film for it's made for women it's for young girls uh, they they need to see this I think it's it's so inspiring and, um, and yeah I'm surprised that there hasn't been a movie made on her life before. Yeah, and did the story of, of Mary and her life, did it change the way maybe you see yourself or see the world considering, you know, here we are in some countries today, even, you know, women are, are where they were, you know, still back in, in, in that yeah. time. Yeah, and also our director, Haifa Al-Mansur, she is from Saudi Arabia. Uh, she's like the first Saudi Arabian uh, filmmaker there because women are not allowed to direct films in Saudi Arabia. So she, her first, her film that she made, Wajda, she directed from a van and she was not allowed on her own film set. And so when she came, I think she has a lot of parallels to Mary um, and feels um, really protective of Mary Shelley as a character, which she brought so much um, to the movie because, she, because of her background and what she's gone through. And when she came on the set of Mary Shelley for the first time, she started crying because she'd never been on a, her own film set before because she was never allowed. So it was really powerful. Generally with these like, you know, I guess biopic type movies, you know, you, some of these characters are still alive today. You can watch films, you can do yeah. some research. So is it is it a little challenging to play characters from so many years back or, or is it or is it maybe more more freedom involved because like no one really knows much about these people? Well, there are, there are there are definitely some biographies written. I yeah. read there was this, I read a biography of Shelley's and there's there's a lot of literature written about them. Um, but yeah, no, I mean they're such influential people. I mean the funny thing is it's like she no one re Shelley wasn't famous at the time of by the time by the time of his death he wasn't famous at the time but now like he went on to influ influence people's writing from Tolstoy to yeah. Gandhi mm -hmm. there's so much writing about them now that actually yeah. there's 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 a lot of research but there's the freedom that you haven't you haven't got YouTube clips there's you can yeah. kind of freedom to create your own yeah character, and right? I think sometimes with period movies it can feel like there's um, kind of a barrier between you and it like you feel kind of removed from it but because of Haifa's style of directing and also the the writing was so good, I never felt, um, I always felt connected to it. I felt like I could sympathize and empathize with the characters even though they'd lived like 200 years ago. That's like, a, that's like two levels of good writing, is it's like good writing yeah. of a movie about good writing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was really meta. Yeah, very meta, that's deep you guys. <laughs>